Hello friends, in today's video we will see how to install Windows Server in DigitalOcean. Let's start. Create droplets. After that select any region. Select only Ubuntu in the image. After that you can select any CPU. This is your choice. Set password. This password is of no use. Because we will install Windows Server, its password will be different. Host name. You can put any name in it. Then click on create droplet. Step by step video has been made so don't skip the video. Otherwise you will face problems in installing windows. Droplet has been created. Now click on recovery. After this turn off this button. And click on boot from recovery ISO. Now let's turn on the button. Now we click on access. Then click on recovery console. Type 6 and press enter. After that we will copy this URL and paste it in the console. The download will be complete in 25 to 30 minutes. Download is complete. Now we close the console. After that turn off this button. Now click on recovery. Then click on boot from hard drive. Now turn on the button. Now click on access. Then click on launch recovery console.
I will put the link in the description, you check it. Open command prompt. Then type ncpa.cpl. Network connection is open. Now click on its properties. Now click on Internet Protocol version 4 properties. Write the IP address here. After this is done, click on the subnet mask. And also on the default gateway. Type 8888 in DNS server and type 8844 in alternate DNS server. Press the OK button and close it. Now open Administrative Tools. Then click on Computer Management. Click on Disk Management. Right click on the middle option and click on Extend Volume. Now click on Local Users and Groups. After that change the username.
Now right click to change the password. Password has been changed. Now we update the software by going to the update status. Click on check update. will update in 5 to 6 minutes. After the update is complete, click on Restart. It will take 3 to 4 minutes to update. The Windows Virtual Machine has been successfully updated. Now we open it in remote desktop connection. If you like the video then like and subscribe. See you in the next video. And learn something new.